Along with the life-saving benefits of modern hospital techniques came a corresponding rise in the cesarean delivery rate. This is a surgical procedure that takes the baby out through an incision in the mother's abdominal wall. In the 1980s, the U.S. cesarean rate escalated to above 25% of births, far above the 8% worldwide average. Concerned parents and professionals fought against what they considered medically unnecessary cesareans. Due to their efforts, the rate dropped, but almost one in five birthing women will have a cesarean delivery in the U.S. today. Currently, epidural anesthesia is the primary method of pain relief chosen by birthing women. In some hospitals, its use is as high as 90%. While a benefit to mothers with difficult deliveries, studies show that epidurals lead to higher cesarean rates and can cause undesirable side effects. As American births became more medical, women began to work for change. The natural childbirth movement brought about many improvements in hospital births, including a refocusing on the value of the upright posture. Many hospitals now have adjustable beds and birthing chairs, making it easier for mothers to be upright during delivery. Several organizations were founded to certify childbirth educators to teach methods of natural childbirth. Thanks to their efforts, most parents today attend a childbirth preparation class during pregnancy. Parents also demanded and won the right to have husbands, families, and friends present for labor and delivery. Women who are awake and aware during labor are able to hold and nurse their babies immediately after birth promoting closer bonds between mothers, fathers, and their babies, as well as facilitating breastfeeding. Midwives have also worked to restore their legal status. In the United States, there are two methods of training midwives. Certified nurse midwives are registered nurses who have taken additional training in midwifery. They deliver about 5% of all hospital births. And many states have programs that certify or license midwives to attend home births. Called direct entry midwives, they train through apprenticeship and special schooling and deliver about 1% of births in the U.S. Also available in many areas are professional labor assistants who help women cope with the challenges of childbirth. Although our management of childbirth has changed greatly over time, birth itself and women's bodies are the same. Women still have the capacity to be active and powerful birthing goddesses. In recent years, artists have once again created images of the birthing goddess, honoring the strong, passionate woman within who gives birth with dignity and strength. Recent studies show that the upright posture is best for birth. It creates more room in the pelvis, makes it easier for the mother to push, maintains better blood and oxygen flow to the baby and uterus, makes labor shorter and less painful, and results in fewer medical interventions. Looking at birth from ancient times to the present, we discover much about our human heritage and how people have viewed the womanly work of birth. We learn that the traditional ways of birthing are not just quaint or interesting, but universal, emotionally fulfilling, and medically sound. For women giving birth today, there is much to ponder and resolve from considering these tried and true traditional ways of giving birth, the timeless way. <laughs>